Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got a decently quiet morning across the Mid-South area with no major problems being seen at this time outside of the temperatures, and we're going to continue to again see the possibility of some fairly chilly numbers right on into the beginning of the year. So if you have any questions about the forecast, please drop them into the comments section. If you've never tuned in here before, this is our exclusive video weather blog. Got tons of information again for you coming up again throughout the rest of the next several minutes. So again, get ready for some weather information to help you plan the rest of your year out. Forecast information down here in the blue bar scrolling on by. As you can see down here, red bar underneath that, social media information. Also, again, the icons over here that you can reach me on those locations. Main website here at wreg.com slash weather. And our seven-day forecast here also available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to know more. And, of course, my email address in the blue bar right at that location. If there's anything on here you'd like to see, please let me know. We'll try to feature them in as well as taking a look around the Mid-South area. Points beyond. If you'd like to see more satellite pictures, more climate data, whatever, let, her, let us know. We can't fix it if you don't tell us about it, so let us know what you'd like to see on here, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. Take a look at the forecast in a nutshell. Again, not showing a lot of anything in the way of very warm conditions, but at least we are getting some improvement on the temperatures. Not by much, but we'll take what we can get. Temperatures about lunchtime in the lower 40s. Lower 40s are about all we're going to get for today, but again, that's great information, again, for where we have been in that ice box for a while. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in on Facebook. Angela Tony from Southern Oklahoma, anywhere near Lawton. I've got a couple of friends from high school down there. Marion, Arkansas. Tina Allensworth, welcome to the show. Good morning to John Shelley. Hope I'm saying that right. Covington, Maggie Landry, thanks for joining us at this point in time. Sorry to hear about the sinus infection. Mark Lewis Laverne, and good morning to you. Rosalind Ra Ra Bryant Snow kind of, sort of, not really looking at that for right now. And welcome to everybody else who's checking in for this point in time. Sam Gillum, uh, Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you very much out there for everybody tuning in for so far. Let's take a quick look at earthquakes in the Mid-South. And once again, we've got nothing to report, so great news. The New Madrid Fault is decently quiet for the time being. If you'd like to see more information about this, or if you're up around the New Madrid Fault or other parts in the Mid-South that catch earthquakes and you felt something of when they happened, Again, let the USGS and U the University of Memphis's Center for Earthquake Research and Information know about that because they can use your information to study earthquakes. It's called citizen science, and it's your opportunity to participate. You don't need a PhD to participate in a lot of these programs. So again, great opportunity for you as a citizen out there. If you feel something, please go to seri at memphis.edu slash CERI or earthquakes.usgs.gov for more information about what you can do to help citizen science out there. Baptist DeSoto camera, plenty of sunshine, a few high thin clouds, a few jet contrails out there drifting on through, but otherwise dry in South Haven. Likewise looking good. Poplar Pike, Germantown Road, the towers of Poplar and Mendenhall out on the horizon, and the water towers just across the street from Germantown High School where my son went to high school there, graduating a couple years ago. 26 degrees in Germantown. Winds out of the north at about 5, so we do have a little bit of a wind chill right now. It doesn't look like much, but it is pretty sharp out there if you're going to be heading out the door relatively soon. If you're all anybody checking in for this morning and you've got temperatures out there, you've got that thermometer outside the kitchen window, put it to good use. Drop your report into the comments section. We'd love to see more about where you're from and what the weather's like where you are. doesn't matter if you're in the Mid-South or not. Just please go ahead and check in and show us where you're checking in from and showing everybody else in the comments section where everything is, where you're located at. As of right now, again, downtown Memphis, the view of the Mississippi River, decently quiet, live view of downtown, showing not much river traffic at this point in time. But we will continue to see some sunshine out there through the day. Some clouds, some sunshine out that direction. So, again, hopefully warming up by just a little bit out there. Mary Kate, yuck, I hate the cold. You're not alone. A lot of people out there also voting for warmer weather uh, at this point in time. Good morning, Ruthie Wilburn from Sardis. Thank you very much. Lorenzo Taylor, Dyersburg. Yes, we'll be talking about that coming up in just a little bit. And good morning from Senatobia, Nancy Barnett, Cleveland. Thank you very much for checking in for today. Diane H. Diane Johnson from Memphis, visiting daughters and grandchildren in Atlanta until New Year's. Safe travels. Hopefully everything else is doing well for right now. As of right now, 
Fairly quiet again for travelers. Good news on the roadway, so not much of a problem being seen there. Likewise, air travel at this time, we have a few clouds drifting on through, so registering is cloudy from the National Weather Service. But the main thing to look at is this icon right here, which means delays of 15 minutes or less. So if you're traveling via air, not much of anything to be seen in the way of delays here at Memphis International, so good news about that. Likewise, seeing some improved conditions out there, Miami International had a delay of about 30 minutes throughout much of the early pre-dawn hours, but that's gone away. And as of right now, not showing up with any major delays across the continental United States at connecting or major airports. If you'd like to see this information, go to our website, wrag.com slash weather for the forecast, and you can get more information from the FAA right here at fly.faa.gov, and we'll be glad to keep you moving along out there. We'll be watching this throughout the rest of the holidays to make certain you and everybody you know who are traveling gets up to date on this, so definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Susie Cooper Cornell, 19 degrees in Walnut, Mississippi. Thank you very much at that for that report right there. Ocala, I hope I'm saying that right, Florida. Debbie Pickler, 47 degrees and overcast, plain cold in Bihalia. Annette Load, thank you very much for that. Mandy Toms, you just want spring weather. We're working on that uh, several days away, but we're working on that, But so stay tuned. 21 in Oxford, Patsy Ann Cooper, thank you very much uh, for that. Minus 4, Wild Rose, Wisconsin. Kimberly Brown, thanks for checking in and making us feel a lot better about our temperatures for right here. Storm Tracker 3S Radar. West Tennessee, North Mississippi, East Arkansas, the areas we cover and collectively call the Mid-South with Memphis and Shelby County right there in the middle. And so far, again, not seeing much of anything. A lot of the minor echoes you're seeing showing up on here are just basically flocks of birds making their way down toward the Mississippi Valley. And that's, again, going to be going on throughout the course of the next couple of weeks. Some of that activity, you can see a few flocks of birds right there around Oxford this morning. But beyond that, we just don't really have a lot going on at this time. Now, our next storm system. System, the one that was originally slated to move a little bit closer to us uh, over the last couple of days, we've started to see that trend kind of go away from the Mid-South area at this time, and it looks like that storm system will be coming in from out of the Rockies, dropping on down to the Plain States, and then eventually heading on down south of us into the Gulf of Mexico. Now that means a couple of things. Number one, we will still see the possibility of some snowfall, but it's not going to be a lot. And depending on the track of this thing, as it goes deeper to the south, less chances of any precipitation, but we're also going to see trailing in behind that some much colder weather. How much colder? Well, stay tuned. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Current temperatures, and when I say current, I mean current, live, real-time, on your side. Weather showing lower to mid-20s across the mid-south. Winds very light to calm, so we don't have much of a wind chill out there. Definitely good news for anybody who has to be outdoors for long periods of time for this morning. So again, not too bad with the breeze, and that should stay that way throughout the course of the rest of the morning. So very good news to report on that, but still pretty chilly out there uh, all the way on through at this point in time. Joe Morris is the snow predicted going to stick. We'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. Harmontown, Mississippi, Patricia Spencer Griffin, welcome to the show. Uh, so terrific. Parker, welcome from Tupelo, Mississippi. Blytheville, Arkansas, Sammy Turner, hope I'm saying that correctly, and Jamie Hayes, Stanton, Tennessee. Thanks for dropping on by. Currently in the Mid-South, again, back in the 20s, we should be aiming for the upper 30s to the lower 40s. Winds turning in from out of the southeast. I think that's where we'll see the conditions improve by just a little bit with the temperatures. It's not going to be tropical out there. It's definitely not going to feel like springtime, but at least it's not going to be the air-conditioned deep freeze that we've seen over the last couple of days. So very good news on that. But lower 40s is about as good as it gets for today and the next several days as well. Now through tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, we see again the winds coming in from out of the south and more clouds starting to make their way into the area in advance of that next system. Jim Jaggers will have more on your forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Tomorrow morning as I'm on the air for daybreak, the winds are going to start to turn around from the southeast back around to the north-northwest. Notice the lines on screen here coming on down from that direction. We're going to continue to see some pretty breezy numbers out there throughout the rest of the weekend. So by mid-morning tomorrow, lower to mid-30s, doesn't sound too bad, but we're not going to be much warmer than this 
throughout the rest of the day and into the rest of what's left of 2017 things are going to be much colder and also very breezy so for your new year's plans here in the mid-south area it's looking pretty cold decently dry but there will be again the potential for again the possibility for that snowfall out there so where are we talking about the snowfall the white areas white to gray that you see out a little farther into the areas out west this is going to be the best potential of snow because that storm system is going to be making its way almost due south down toward texas so the best potential of snow is going to be well to our west as we go into around early sunday the last day of the year some of that snow starts to make its way a little bit closer to us right across the washita mountains into around the arkansas river valley a little bit more activity up around the Boston Mountains, and that could be a bit of a problem for people going between I-40, Fayetteville, Rogers, and into around Bentonville if you're heading toward northwest Arkansas. Now, again, some of that snowfall, by the time we hit early afternoon, starts to make its way into the Mid-South. But if you watched yesterday's forecast, you know that this is a far cry from what we saw yesterday and the chances of anything involving snow. So there will be minimal chances of snow, definitely not a snowman building competition, and doesn't look like it's going to be enough to cancel classes or going back to work next Tuesday. So again, not really looking at a lot right there. This trend will continue right on in through about the time the guitar drops on Beale Street. Again, cold, windy, Chances of snow just really not looking all that great at this time. It looked a lot better yesterday on the computer models, which is typical. This happens with computer models to where something will change over time, either for the better or for the worse, and this is what we have right now. Now, could this change again to where we get more snowfall in the forecast? Yes, absolutely. It could do that. Whether or not it does that, we're going to have to wait and see over about the next 36 hours, so stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on that. Now, adding in the potential of frozen precipitation to freezing precipitation, the white, again, showing the possibility of snow. This stuff right here indicating the potential of freezing precipitation, as in sleet, as in freezing rain, as in anything involving grapple, that's large sleet pellets that are too small for being hail, but too large for being actually sleet. So we may see some of that taking place. Most of that is going to be down south of us. So between the News Channel 3 viewing area and, say, down to around Jackson. I'm not done with you yet. Hang on a second. Apologies. Cranky. Okay. Hang on. If any of the engineers are watching, we're going to have to break out the sledgehammer again here for just a little bit. Now, getting back to where I was, thank you very much. Now, at, thank you. There we go. Okay. Brew the coffee. We'll get this straightened out eventually, I promise. Now, into, again, the rest of the forecast. This is going to be the best possibility of seeing the potential of some freezing precipitation out there, and we're on kind of the northern fringe of that, and this forecast has also been diminished greatly from what we saw just about, say, 24 hours ago. So the potential is there. Not great chances. Is it going to stick? As uh, somebody asked just a little while ago, even if we get anything, it's really not going to be that much. But the best potential is going to be down from around, say, Columbus, north of Jackson, back through southern Arkansas, possibly down to around Vicksburg, and that'll be the best potential. And this has been slowly shifting its way down south by just a bit. So our chances here in the Mid-South counties Again, just not really looking at all that much. Possibility of getting some, as in minor, but not much more than that at this point in time. More coming up on daybreak throughout the rest of the morning. Temperatures back in the lower 40s today. Cooling off into tomorrow as that cold air makes its way into the Mid-South, and that could be a potential problem going into Saturday night as well. Highs on Sunday, the last day of the year, mid-20s at best, and it will be breezy throughout New Year's Eve on the day. Into the evening hours, those winds will continue out of the north, Temperatures by the time the guitar drops on Beale Street will probably be back into the teens. Wind chills Sunday night into Monday could be back to around maybe the single digits or so. So any outdoor New Year's plans you may want to think about moving those indoors once again. 22 degrees for a high on New Year's. That's going to be about as good as it gets for right now. Plenty of sunshine out across much of the Mid-South. <sighs> As you can see, just really demonstrating wow. again how to stay warm out there. Audio operator extraordinaire, production department, Michael Gates. Hanging with the greatest weatherman of all time. Very, very talented. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, meteorologist. Thank you. Thank you. Very, 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 yeah. very kind of you to do that. Thank so, you. Yeah. Um, uh, everyone, bundle up uh, scarf, layers, sweater, preferably, especially something on the head to hold the heat in. 
All right, you heard it here first. We are the station that's on your side, and we care about you. Now, uh, back to Austin uh, in the studio. Thank you, sir. <laughs> With one, one, one of the best people on the production staff, I swear. This, 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 is what makes, this is what makes it great to work around here early in the morning, besides the coffee as well. Amen. So th- thank you. <laughs> Lots of coffee, believe me, on there. All right, now taking a look at the rest of the forecast as we head in through the first week. Not much better than the lower to mid-30s at best out there. Got to stay bundled up here in the studio, too, sometimes. 40 by the first weekend and maybe getting back to around the mid to upper 40s by the time we head into next Sunday. And that's about as good as it gets all the way through. Now, this is a little bit closer to normal for this time of the year, back in about the lower 50s to upper 40s. I got to wrap this up because we got to get into our 825 update here coming up here in just a little bit. Uh, Let's see. Lyrica Halgadam. Uh, my son is the expert in German. I'm afraid I can't translate that. I'm sorry about that. But if that was in Latin, that could be a different story. So thank you very much uh, for that. Again, could we, could we see, again, the possibility of any more precipitation out there? Yes, but with this forecast numbers going on, the blue box is, again, showing the potential of basically zilch where it comes to anything involving rain or snow and the chances again from New Year's Eve into New Year's Day small and getting smaller so we're just not looking at too much of anything out there in the way of precipitation. Now tune in for my forecast 8 to 10 a.m. a.m. 7.30 it's going on right now with Bob and Josh as we take a look at the end of the year they'll be back on again through New Year's next week and all through the year Monday through Friday 8 to 10 a.m. Tune in at talkbacklivenetwork.org for some great sports chat. I'll have more on your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5, and Oldies 102.3. Make certain you stay tuned for Jim Jagger's forecast that'll be coming up starting on first at four. He'll take you through the Liberty Bowl tomorrow, all the way into the end of the year. Updates on the forecast numbers that'll be again through News Channel 3 at 10 later on tonight. And join me for a special edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime Extended Edition, coming up at about 10:30 this morning on my Facebook page, also on Periscope and Twitter. And we'll keep you updated as to what may be going on and the changes that take place over the next several hours into the computer model forecast. Love to have you along for the ride. Again, if there's anything on here you'd like to see, contact me at austin.onic at wrig.com, and we'd love to know more about what you would like to see on here. If I can get the computer working properly... We will have more information about whether where the troops are. If you have friends, loved ones, relatives stationed overseas with the United States military, we'll do more on that and show you more about what the weather's looking like for those who couldn't leave their post and make it home for the holidays this time around. So stick around for more on that. More coming up throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3, on air and online. So stay tuned for more on that. And thanks for joining us for today's early morning edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.